Hey, welcome back. This week, picture background removal. Yes, I'm talking about Excel. Maybe we're doing a cover page for a report. Found this nice little picture here. We want to use the, well, it was new in Excel 2010, picture tools format, remove background. But here's some things I've learned. The first thing they do is they guess at the extent of the subject. And they guess wrong, and it's really important that you get this bounding box right. Once the bounding box is right, they do a really, really good job of guessing which parts are important and which parts not are not. Um, but if you don't have the bounding box right, then there's just no hope uh, for it to work. All right, so first thing, get the bounding box to work. And then we're going to look for areas that they have uh, made purple that shouldn't be purple, like that section of the neck right there. That comes back. And then areas that they uh, want to keep that we think that they should remove. And you see, sometimes you have to click a couple of times to uh, convince it to remove it. That looks kind of good right there and maybe right there. Okay, let's see how it looks. If it doesn't look good here, do Control Z to undo. Now, the other thing, what if you want to have some words up here uh, behind that picture? Well, if you try and click in those cells, it's going to select the picture instead, right? Very frustrating. So, you have to click out here to the, to the right and then uh, come in behind, now that I'm actually in that cell, I can type, you know, the title of my report or something like that. So, you can type things back here that will show through the picture. You just have to select outside the range and then uh, use the arrow keys to sneak in underneath. Picture background removal, it's been there for a while, much better in Excel 2010, uh, provided you get that bounding box correct.